the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge attended a wreath-laying ceremony at the Cenotaph followed by a service at Westminster Abbey. The day pays tribute to the thousands of Australians and New Zealanders who were lost in the Gallipoli landings during the First World War. The message on the wreath laid on behalf of the Queen by Prince William read, in memory of those who made the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. Twitter user at Love for Cambridge took to the social media platform to compliment the Duke and Duchess saying, It was wonderful to see our Duke and Duchess paying their respects to those who died so we could have freedom today. They added, Both of you look so dignified performing your duties to the Crown, once again. God bless all we have lost, and God bless you both. Twitter user at jbridge0556569596 said, William and Kate always so dignified despite the difficulties and unnecessary comments they are currently facing. You have a lot of support, be strong and keep doing what you're doing. Prince Charles also released a statement on Twitter to commemorate the day. The statement said the Prince of Wales and Duchess of Cornwall thought, of all the courageous troops who endured so much in 1915. The statement alluded to the violence in Ukraine as it said, as we pause to reflect on the sacrifice of the armed services personnel of Australia and New Zealand in two world wars, and in other conflicts and peacekeeping operations, our thoughts will also be with those communities around the world who are being torn apart by violence and conflict, and those who are fighting for freedom in the face of oppression. The statement from Charles concluded, in 1916, one year after the Gallipoli landings, my great-grandfather, King George V, wrote of the first ANZACs, they gave their lives for a supreme cause in gallant comradeship. 106 years later, gallant comradeship remains a defining mark of the uniformed men and women of New Zealand and Australia. Lest we forget.